Hi all, today we are discussing transistor configuration. There are uh, three types of uh, transistor configurations. They are uh, common base configuration, common emitter configuration, common cut configuration. In a simple two port network, uh, we have input current and input voltage, output current and output voltage. Out of the four parameters, two are taken as independent to Two are taken as dependent parameters for the convenience. Dependent parameters uh, input voltage, output current. Independent parameters uh, input current and output voltage. Input voltage function of input current from output voltage. Output current function of input current and output voltage. So equation one is help for obtaining the input characteristics and Equation 2 for output characteristics. First of all, we will see common base configuration. For this, here the input is applied M terrain base and output is taken from collector and base. So, the circuit diagram for biasing input side always we get as forward bias. And output side is a reverse bias. So, so input, input parameters, parameters are VEB IE, that is VEB called function of IE, VCB, ICE called function of IE, VCB. So, equation 1 is used to plot the input characteristics, and equation 2 is used to plot the output. Uh, so, input characteristics to determine the input characteristics output voltage should be kept constant. Keep output voltage VCB is constant, then varying input voltage VB and note down the corresponding current I. Repeat the same procedure for different values of output voltage VCB from the graph it is clear that as output voltage increase curve should towards left side so if reverse bias across collector base tension increase the width of the base decreases is known as early effect or base width modulation Punch it through is reverse bias across collector base junction increases base width with decreases at one particular voltage both at the depletion region touches together and width of the base decreases is known as punch through. Next, we will see the output characteristics to determine the output characteristics input current should be kept constant. Keep input current constant then varying the output voltage VCB and no terms corresponding output current IC. Repeat the procedure for different values of input. So, input the entire uh, is uh, 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 into two, three regions. The first one is cutoff region, active region, and saturation region. For in this, uh, the input and output side bias, uh, we see input is reverse bias, output is reverse bias. The region is called as cutoff region, that is meaning as switch off. Input is forward bias, output is forward bias, that is saturation region, that is on the switch. Input is forward bias, output is reverse bias, that is active region, that it may act as a transistor amplifier to switch to increase the signal strength. Input is reverse bias, output is forward bias, that is inactive region. 
so it may act as a actuator. The transistor parameters is input resistance C, R equal del V by del I that is a uh, VCB is constant. The H parameters of this one, HIV equal to del VEB by del IE, VCB constant. Input resistance in common base is in the order of uh, few ohms. That is uh, Ohm's law. Output resistance R naught equal to del VCB by del IC. I constant and HOV equal to del IC. Del VCB I constant. Output resistance in common base is in order of hundreds of kilo ohms. Current gain AI equal to del IC by del IE. VCB constant alpha H of A B equal to del IC del IE is B constant. Current gain is always empty. Voltage gain AV equal to del VCB by del VEB IE constant. HRB equal to V B by L V C B E constant voltage gain is common base configuration is high. This is all about common base configuration.